It may be a cold grey day in Paris, but here at Place Vendôme there's plenty of colour and sparkle. To coincide with the couture shows, the jewellery houses show their collections for the seasons. Come with me and see what five of the main houses have on offer. First we go to Dior and their newly refurbished shop at 8 Place Vendôme. The refurbishment was the work of architect Peter Marino and here you can see the creations of Dior's designer Victoire de Castellan, inspired by the colours and exotic shapes of Bollywood or some more regal members of the house. These miniature kings and queens heads wearing their very own jewellery that can be worn as pendants round the neck. And uh, today we are presenting new zip necklaces. The zip necklaces is one of the icons of Van Cleef and Arpels. And the story tells that it was originally the Duchess of Windsor in 1939 that came to René Puissant, who was at the time the artistic director of the house, and asked for something very strange, a high jewelry necklace that would work as a zip fastener. Van Cleef and Arpels add four new zips to their repertoire. What's new about these clever jewels is the arrival of bright and bold colours. The zip can be worn as a necklace or zipped up all the way and transformed into a bracelet. We're at Boucheron where they have a cabinet of curiosities for us to look at. So have a look at some of these creatures which aren't all fuzzy and cute. In fact, there's some downright scary ones. They look weird, they look like little um, insects in a collector's box, you know? <laughs> Boucheron are fascinated with creatures of the night. From slithering snakes rippling with diamonds, to a jellyfish ring. Exotic animals become unusual jewels. Look at this watch. That little seahorse is made out of fossilized palm tree wood. Leaving behind the Chanel signature black and white, Secrets of the Orient is about rich colours inspired by Venice and the opulence of the East. Okay, yeah, turn it round. Chaumet is famous for its tiaras and the jewels it made for Napoleon and his court. I found out that these were one of Napoleon's motifs, symbolizing power. Today this little buzzing worker is the theme of the Chaumet Be My Love collection. Mm -hmm. 